Hello again. Uh, I'd like you to load the drawing file called I oh, get it wrong already. Icosa dodecahedron dot dwg. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is is get this complicated looking shape orientated properly, and then we're going to try and try and create a doorway on one side of this shape. Uh, Icosa dodecahedron is uh, is a, a regular shape. Uh, created from uh, pentagons linked with triangles. So you can kind of discern that here. We've got a triangle there and then a pentagon here. So we've got, uh, I think it's 10 pentagons on, on or is it five pentagons on each side um, linked by triangles. So I'll just turn it around. And you can see it looks pretty, pretty tricky. So what we'll do is first is, is chop this in half. So it's going to end up looking like a little kind of a shelter, like a yurt. You can kind of things you might find in Mongolia or somewhere. Okay, so we'll we'll go to the uh, to the front UCS to do this. So we're in the modeling workspace and then on your coordinates panel go to the front coordinate system and then do plan and return twice. Okay, when viewed from from this side, the shape looks decidedly strange, doesn't it? Okay, but imagine that, that is the the object we want so that's half of this object so I can't do anything with it at the moment because it's all sealed up uh, just to let you know this shape started life in 3d studio max and it was exported out of that as a drawing so we were able to just pick whichever type of uh, kind of platonic shape you want and then um, play around with them but what I did was just export it back to AutoCAD just to, to experiment with so we'll use the explode command, so it's X and return. Pick the shape anywhere on any line and return. Okay, now that, what that's done is reveal all the triangulation. So if you can discern here, there's a, a pentagon, it's divided into three triangles. This line is either further back or in front. Okay, what we're gonna do is, is strip away this side. So E, return and use crossing windows for these so you pick up any stray triangles so a few crossing windows so return to bring back the command and that's as stripped away half of the shape okay if you just want to check that you could shade it shade with edges and use your orbit command to turn it around and you'll see that you've got kind of half the shape so our aim is to get this looking more like that so it's round the right way okay at the moment it's tilted over Okay, so I've been messing around with orbit there, so I don't know if I'm true onto the shape yet. So back to 2D wireframe and plan and return twice. Okay, now it's dead easy to rotate this back. We use what's called a reference rotation. So it's RO return, grab the whole object and return. Using my object snaps. I'll pick the bottom end point here and you see it's letting me rotate but I don't know by how much okay so this is where you use the letter R to invoke the reference and we just pick two points and it doesn't matter if they're you know front to back or whatever as long as they're kind of visually in line with each other in this UCS in this coordinate system so I'll go from end point to end point you can see now I'm kind of in control of the object using that kind of bottom side put ortho on just drag to the side select again and that's it done okay let's twist it over and we'll put the coordinate system back to the world one and remember how we do that you just type in UCS and return twice or go back to the coordinates panel and you can choose world from that okay we're, we're just a bit further down than level zero so you don't necessarily need to do this but I think we'll just move it up to, to level zero so M return grab the object and return pick a, a base point on this bottom perimeter okay so I'm gonna take this one and then I'm gonna tell it to go to zero comma zero comma zero sorry zero comma zero comma zero that makes sure that the z coordinate is zero as well 
press return okay like I say don't necessarily have to do that right now it's a bit difficult to, to read the object here there's just a few too many lines but I can see there that there's a, a, a uh, equilateral triangle and then next to that I've got a five-sided pentagon okay what I can do to make it a bit easier to read is hide some of the edges of these triangles so use the edge command for that so edge return just click on the line and they go white okay then press return so that hides the edges and it makes it a bit easier to read the shape then so I'll probably get away with doing two pentagons here okay so there's a pentagon there and then there's a pentagon there so it's edge return one two three four return so we'll leave in pentagons and equilateral triangles okay there should be three more still to do might get away with doing those from this side right so it's six pentagons one two three yeah six pentagons separated by equilateral triangles because it's a dodecahedron isn't it that means it's got 12 sides with the icosas in as well okay so it's edge and one two three four five six return that's a bit easier to read isn't it okay now the whole point of this exercise was to try and put a door on one side of this little kind of shape okay and if you look at your layers list you'll see that the layer doorway is the current layer okay so this when we draw lines they should end up yellow okay so let's say we're going to use this face to add the doorway so let's just draw some lines at the sides of the pentagon so L return and they're just normal lines okay right now let's say I want the doorway to be an actual height of two meters so it's not two meters on this line because that wouldn't give me a true height of two meters okay so to do that to establish the height what I should do is go to the front coordinate system and then draw a polyline I'm going to take my polyline from this point now don't worry that it seems to be going off at a straight angle that's not a problem at all now we can offset that so O return offset it by 2000 and return pick the line go upwards pick again okay now I know that this line is going to be crossing this one but it's not touching that one okay if you twist that around a wee bit you'll make that clear okay so what I need to do is extend it to hit this line okay it's not going to actually touch it but it in the UCS that we're working in it will cover it so let's extend so it's EX return pick this line as your barrier and return and then click near the end of this line and it should go forward okay still confused what you should do then is type plan PLAN and return twice and you see now we extended this line originally it was this long we extended it to there now you can use trim so TR return pick this as your cutter and return and we're chopping off the top ends of the lines that are running up the edges of the, the pentagon okay the two horizontal lines have done their job now they can go in the bin let's go back to 3d view okay when I escape the yellow lines should become visible okay to, to finish the door I really need to be in the the UCS that relates to this actual pentagon and that's where we can use the three-point UCS so three-point set an origin point here a direction for X this way along the bottom line and then a positive point in the Y direction 
And because this is one coplanar shape, it's all flat, it doesn't matter which one of these I pick. Okay, we're now tilted in that facet of the of the shape. I'm going to add to my uh, to my object snaps, I'm going to add midpoint. Okay, and then I can safely use lines. I don't have to use polylines for this because my UCS is correct. You know, do UCS work correctly, and you'll have confidence. Okay, so midpoint there would go to the apex, wouldn't it? If it was a regular polygon, and you were facing the right way. Okay, don't need to take it to the apex. Up here will do as long as I'm above the two meter level mark. Then offset, so O return. Let's make the door. 1200 overall wide, so offset of 600 because this is the middle of the door. 600 that way, 600 that way. This line's done its job, it can be deleted. And then a line going right the way across, and we just do some trimming to tidy things up. So use this as a cutter for the top and then use two cutters for the sides and that's our doorway these two have done their job they go in the bin and then what we need to do is deal with the the 3d faces here because it's this is just a shape drawn on a solid shape if I just shade it you can see what I mean just the yellow outline but it's still green and solid so we can delete the green Delete the green triangles and let's reinstate the 3D faces that were yellow, uh, yellow. So 3F return and it's just a bit of dot to dot triangulation here. You can use four sided ones, so one, two, three, four. And then what I'll probably do is finish with three sided 3D faces. finalize okay there are three lines in there that could be deleted unless if you're needing for something else you keep them otherwise select them and delete them okay uh, that's it back to 2d wireframe we can see the edges there if we wanted to we could clean that up using the edge command that will let us take away the edges that we don't want to see need to do that again because we had an edge on top of an edge there it's just not gone right the way through both okay let's final shade looks good how about x-ray neat okay hopefully that's you know working through that exercise as well as the cockpit one uh, will prepare you for doing your own explorations and and uh, UCS control the way you want to. Okay, I'm going to stop the video there. Thank you.